Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim. Welcome, and for those of you who do, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Just wanna let you guys know, my friends totally mock me on that little opening. They do it back and forth. Anyway, I just wanna say, I love you guys. Thanks for watching my video. It is really fun to hear from you that you like watching them. Okay, to get into the video, something I love from you guys, I love when you say hi to me down below and you tell me what you're doing, whether you're in Germany having a tea or you're somewhere else having a Chardonnay. It's so fun. I hear like, I'm on my, I'm working out and I'm having water and I'm watching your video. I love it. I don't know why. I feel like we're connected and we're friends and I know what you're doing because you know what I'm doing. Anyway, okay, let's get into the video. Five things that you need for your wardrobe. If you don't have them, you need to get them so that you can actually really get out the door fast. First things first, I'm wearing one, so I'm gonna talk about it first. A cardigan. So in your fall wardrobe, it is so handy to have a cardigan. I'm not talking about those like ones from the past. Remember like the schleppy mom cardigans? They kind of like, they had this flap that like folded open. I don't know, it was like a really weird cardigan. It was long, it was droopy, they had pockets. No, I'm not talking about those. The ones that you wore with your riding boots, not that look. There is so many really interesting cardigans on the market, but they are really helpful. So it's in between weather right now. And for example, I have on a silk tank top. I can throw on this little cardigan. So I've just backed up so that you guys can see this. I'm this cardigan. I got it at Cezanne actually when I was in Paris with my girlfriend, Erin. Um, I love it. I love the color. I love the cut. Uh, I love the cutouts and it. it is so cute. But here's the thing, it's very current color is on trend. It's a neutral, always good to have a neutral cardigan in your wardrobe. Neutral being gray, tan, white, black, fantastic pieces to have. I currently have on army boots and gray skinny jeans. I can throw this on. I can walk out the door. It gives me a little coverage and it's very classic. Okay. This is another cardigan. I want to show you a few that I have in my own wardrobe. This one, I got at Intermix. Again, it's that length. It just hits me right at my jeans. I just, I like the length. This one I've worn, I do up the buttons and I wear it by itself. I can actually also turn it around and I can wear the buttons in the back, but quite often I just throw it on with whatever I'm wearing, usually a tank top. Gives me a little bit of coverage, it's cute. I've actually also worn this with like a wool skirt and a pair of boots. It just gives a little bit of coverage. So again, can I say coverage any more times? Coverage! Um, it's just a cute cardigan that I have in my wardrobe. It is a basic, you do need one. And as you can see, the, the two cardigans that I have are different textures. So this one is like a wool, but it's a soft wool. It doesn't have a much going on. That other one, the tan, is kind of got some cutouts, some great buttons, really fun. Both the same cut, because that's a cut that works for me. There's another type of cardigan that is fantastic to have in your wardrobe. I'm gonna show you this one. Again, I got this one when I was shopping in Paris. I always buy cardigans when I'm cold. Maybe don't follow me, but plan ahead and buy them. This one, it's not something that I would usually wear. It's really long, but I'll tell you why it works for me. I love the color. I have green hazily eyes, so any type of Merlot like this looks fantastic on me. It has pockets that hang down low. That adds weight around my hips because I'm an inverted triangle. So something like this is really cute. I can push it up. And I feel like I also look dressy too. So it's again, not a basic, but I have a few different cardigans in a few different colors, lengths, and textures. The second thing that you need in your capsule fall wardrobe is a blazer. So I always like to say, spend the most money that you can on some of these things. A blazer is something that you can keep for like 10 years. It's really important to have. I have a few in a few different cuts. This one, is a boyfriend cut, it's from Eero. I got it actually at a store called TNT. I'll leave a link to this one down below. It is a boyfriend cut, it is big and it's boxy. And again, you need the essentials in basic color. So I don't want you to run out and go buy a hot pink blazer, unless of course that's your thing. But a black blazer, white blazer, tan blazer, navy if that's your thing. Anytime I say black, if you're a navy person, that works too. I love this cut. I wear it all the time. I throw it on top of like little black dresses with heels. I throw it on top of like a t-shirt and jeans. So this is a boyfriend blazer. Again, you have to pick one that works for your body type. This is another blazer that I have in my wardrobe. I'll tell you what I like about it. It is really fitted. It's black. I like the buttons. This is by Smythe. I've had this one for a long time. I love this look with like tall skinny jeans. I can put it on with heels. I can also wear it with army boots. It is fantastic. So having a few blazers that work for you are essential 
to have in your fall wardrobe. Again, it's nice to have a few different cuts, but I would say if you don't have any that you really love, go out and spend some money and invest in them. Now that we have the cardigan down and the blazer, we need some bottoms. So what you do need in your wardrobe, an essential is some classic black pants. So this depends on what your style is. Again, if you're more of like a tan navy person, every time I say black, sub it out for navy. I don't wanna hear about it in the comments a million times. It's the same thing, so you can adapt. But classic black pants, fantastic, that work for your body type. So within that realm of black pants, things that I think that are essential are a pair of vegan leather or leather pants, whatever works for you. I love those, I wear them all the time. I have a few pairs. I can throw them on with a silk tank, pair of heels, blazer, and I'm ready to go. I also throw them on with a pair of army boots and sweater and I can wear them casually, but you always look dressy, you always look classy. So anything in that category, they could be wool, they could be cigarette pants, they could be wide leg pants, you just need a pair that you can reach for and get out the door. Since we are talking about pants, we will keep working our way down what basic footwear that you need to have in your capsule fall collection i will tell you i have been in a million wardrobes and i'm like hey where's your black boots let's pull out your dark jeans your navy jeans your black jeans and put on a pair of black boots oh, no black boots and or no black boots that are actually in good shape so for the majority of us we are not walking around in stilettos if you are i love you i wish i was you but i'm not i have several pairs of flat black boots because that's what i get the most wear out of if you want you can have a kitten heel or a little bit of heel i have a beautiful pair of chloe boots that have a thick wide heel i wear those when i want a little bit of height but i and i need and I need to still be able to walk. I'm gonna recommend that you have a pair of flat black boots. So something classic, a Chelsea boot, um, an army boot, a loafer even would work. I'm thinking about heading into winter. So any type of boot like that would be fantastic. There are so many different ones on the market. It depends on your own style, but I'm talking about the essentials. I'm talking about you need a flat black boot. Make sure that you have something that works for you in your wardrobe. The fifth timeless piece that you really need to have in your fall wardrobe in order to get out the door fast, look good and classy. I'm gonna combine this fifth into fifth and sixth, but actually a classic white blouse, again, cut for your body type. You can't go wrong. You can throw your cardigan over it. You can throw your blazer over it. You can put a vest, a sweater vest over it. There's so many things that you can do with a classic blouse. I wear a lot of silk. I have them in black. I have them in white. Actually, Lily Silk is a fantastic place to get those blouses. Their prices are fantastic. I will leave a link down below. I really like equipment blouses. They always fit me really well. So again, you have to think about your body type and what works for you and what type of color and fit. But a classic white shirt is fantastic. And the next thing I'm going to say, which is like you need to have timeless piece is a turtleneck. I love a turtleneck in my wardrobe. I actually, I wear them all the time. I have a really big chest. I'm an inverted triangle. And actually, I actually do wear a turtleneck bodysuit. I have a few that I love and I've been layering them. They look so great under a blazer, under the cardigan, sweater vest, a classic piece. You throw that on with a pair of really great wool pants or jeans or your vegan leather pants or whatever you're wearing. And you are always going to look amazing. Imagine putting on your black boots, grab your purse and you head out the door. You need to have a turtleneck in your wardrobe. If you have a bigger chest, just don't get one that's as tight. You can get ones that are cut short, ones that have a, maybe they have some frills or some embellishment along the bottom. It really depends, but you just need a classic black turtleneck. So I'm gonna leave a link to a few black turtlenecks and a few of these pieces down below. You can look through them and pick one that works for your body type. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember if you did to hit subscribe because there are thousands of you that are watching and I love you for watching and I love you for commenting and talking to me, but you are not subscribed and I really want you to do it for me. I will be in your, I, I was gonna say I'll be in your wardrobe. I won't be in your wardrobe. I mean, I will if you're watching me in your wardrobe, but I will show up on your email on Fridays and uh, every Friday, so we will hang out. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I love you. See you in the next video.